Hi all, welcome back. This is Hal with uh, Savage Lands once again. And today, this is actually going to be one of the sidetrack episodes. <clears throat> Recently on uh, one of the forums I was talking to somebody and they had pointed out that their concerns with this game as a multiplayer game is that they didn't think the resources would actually support it because of the way that the system is currently running. Um, that may be a concern short term, but one of the things I don't, I don't think people understand from just watching the Let's Plays is that while you see things like the stones just kind of laying around and those are very limited quantity even though that they do respawn, uh, one of the things that I don't think people realize is that you can actually get stone from pretty much any of the stone faces like this one. So what I'm going to do is see if I can either build a hammer very quickly. Uh, make sure we've got everything here. Let me just do some very quick organization. Um, and as you can see, I've already got five of the stones. So when you're first starting out, it's not too bad. But uh, I definitely understand where there, some of the concern may be. So let me run down the beach, see if I can find the abandoned camp, um, which would ha may have a, uh, a hammer there. But yeah, once you have the hammer, between the hammer and the axe, you're pretty well set for resource gathering. I mean, there's not much else in the game right now that requires you to use anything other than one of the two items and granted you can get better items for harvesting but you can get everything basically just using the basic weapons and tools uh, we're going to stop in here anything on the ground nope so um yeah the publishers and the developer the developers has really been working to get content out and to get updates out for the game there's been I don't want to say concerns there's been definitely user feedback that's been provided to them and they're very open to taking that feedback which is always a good thing you know uh, if you hit them up on their on their fight on their forums or their site you know anywhere that you have a line of communication with them they tend to at least listen to what you may have as a concern or a complaint if you have one so I definitely recommend following up with them. So what we're gonna do here is, yeah, I'm I'm in the wrong direction for where I really needed to go to see if I could find the hammer. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take a chance with the burnt out village up here. See how bad the undead are this time around. They uh, seem to really not like me. <laughs> yeah, if, if you haven't seen the episode yet, don't worry, it'll be out in the next day or two. <laughs> and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. So, for now, uh, let's see here. Oh. Let's see what we got over here. Hmm. <laughs> Uncle Owen and Aunt Peru. Sorry, too soon? Uh, let's see. Yeah. So it does look like they uh, listened to some of the community feedback about the availability of items. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we have, an, <laughs> we have a rack that we can't access. Ow. Don't put tools on the rack and don't let me access the rack. Come on. <sighs> All right. So yeah, I don't want to go too far in this direction because I do believe that there is some hostile critters down there a little bit further. See if I can find an animal to, to hunt really quick. Head inland, maybe find a deer or something. Not that worried about 
dying. I don't want to just die outright, so. If I see a dire wolf running. <laughs> Let's see what we've got over here. So, but yeah, coming back to the point of the, the whole sidetrack this time. Um, like I said, this is a series that's really more about answering questions and when someone raises a point like this, you know, having a chance to to show, you know, this is maybe what you want to look at or, you know, helping provide an answer or a little bit of guidance for people that may have questions about any game. It's not really specific to any one game, um, and I'm not expecting that to change. So the one thing about the series is, is that it's not going to be regularly scheduled just because, well, you know, there's only so much you can do when you're trying to answer questions, so... Well, I hear a deer, but I don't see him, which means I'm probably about to get eaten by a wolf. Oh, nope, there's the, there he is. See, my thing is, is that with the deer, there are usually wolves around. Oh, don't run towards the ocean. Damn you, venison on the hoof. No running towards the ocean. Come back. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. And a sign Okay. So that's actually beneficial. Because now I can just make the hammer. Let's go. Just need a couple of sticks. And I think that is all I need. Sword, heavy stone hammer. Ooh. Okay, so I have everything except I need one more stick. Let's get one more stick. Come on. Give me a stick. There's the stick. Oh, right. So, yeah. That's what I was talking about with before with the stones, and of course... Oh, there's one. Um, any of the stones that you see where there are actual rocks out like this, you can just walk up and... Whoops. Whoops if I use the right weapon. And what will happen is, is after five, six hits, you start getting stuck. You'll sometimes get ore, I think, uh, flint. Oh, there's some more. Uh, flint and coal are now also on the loot table for the resource rocks. And like everything else in the game, this will replenish over time, as far as I know. I've not seen one that doesn't, but again, I haven't spent, you know, multiple hours sitting here just testing. And there's the flint, medium quantity ore. Um, I believe high quality ore is now also in the resource table, which most likely requires a better tool. But yeah, it once you once you have the basic tools, resource gathering becomes much much easier. Um, and then there's not quite such the concern for the, the lack of stone either. So yeah, that was basically what I wanted to show you today. I thank you for stopping by. If you like this uh, video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like it, hit the subscribe. And I uh, thank you for spending some of your time with me today. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see everybody next time. Take care, everyone. Stay safe out there.